Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that find the equation of the line which bisects the obtuse angle between the lines x minus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0 and 4x minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And the first result is for the lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Let us bring this as 1 and this as 2. If theta be the angle between the lines 1 and 2, then tan theta is equal to mod of m1 minus m2 whole upon 1 plus m1 into m2. Where m1 is the slope of the line which is given by equation number 1 and m2 is the slope of line given by equation number 2. Secondly, the equations of the bisectors of the angles between the lines which is given by equation number 1 and 2 is given by a1x plus b1y plus c1 whole upon square root of a1 square plus b1 square is equal to plus minus a2x plus b2y plus c2 whole upon square root of a2 square plus b2 square where the equation obtained on taking the positive sign is the equation of the bisector that bisects the angle in which the origin lies and on taking a negative sign the equation obtained is the equation of other bisector. Now these results will work out as the key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Here the equation of the lines are given to us. So given the equations of the lines as x minus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0 and 4x minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. Now let us name it as 1 and this as 2. Now by using this result which is given in the key idea, the equations of the angular bisector of the lines which was given by equation number 1 and 2 are x minus 2y plus 4 whole upon square root of 1 square plus minus 2 square is equal to plus minus 4x minus 3y plus 2 whole upon square root of 4 square plus minus 3 square. Here, a1 is 1, b1 is minus 2, and c1 is 4. And here, a2 is 4, b2 is minus 3, and c2 is 2. This further implies x minus 2y plus 4 
whole upon square root of 1 plus 4 is equal to plus minus 4x minus 3y plus 2 whole upon square root of 16 plus 9 which further implies x minus 2y plus 4 whole upon root 5 is equal to plus minus 4x minus 3y plus 2 whole upon root 25 which further implies x minus 2y plus 4 whole upon root 5 is equal to plus minus 4x minus 3y plus 2 whole upon 5 now this implies x minus 2y plus 4 whole upon a root 5 is equal to plus minus 4x minus 3y plus 2 over 5 can be written as root 5 into root 5. Now here root 5 will be cancelled with root 5. So this implies x minus 2y plus 4 is equal to plus minus 4x minus 3y plus 2 whole upon root 5. Now, the equation of the bisector of the angle in which the origin lies is now on taking the positive sign in this equation, it will be x minus 2y plus 4 is equal to plus 4x minus 3y plus 2 all upon root 5 which implies on cross multiplying root 5 into x minus 2y plus 4 the whole is equal to 4x minus 3y plus 2 which further implies root 5x minus 2 root 5y plus 4 root 5 minus 4x plus 3y minus 2 is equal to 0 which further implies 4 minus root 5 the whole into x minus 3 minus 2 root 5 the whole into y plus 2 minus 4 root 5 is equal to 0 now let us name this equation as equation number 3. Now, equation of the other bisector is, now again, in this equation, on taking the negative sign, it will be x minus 2y plus 4 is equal to minus 4x minus 3y plus 2 whole upon root 5. On cross multiplying, this implies root 5 into x minus 2y plus 4 the whole is equal to minus 4x plus 3y minus 2, which further implies root 5x minus 2 root 5y plus 4 root 5 plus 4x minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0 which further implies 4 plus root 5 the whole into x minus 3 plus 2 root 5 the whole into y plus 2 plus 4 root 5 is equal to 0 and let us name this as equation number 4 now we have this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2 now, slope M1 of the line 1 is equal to minus the coefficient of x which is 1 over coefficient of y which is minus 2 which is equal to 1 by 2. Now, this is the equation number 3. Now, slope m3 
of the line which is given by equation number 3 is equal to minus coefficient of x which is 4 minus root 5 all upon coefficient of y which is minus of 3 minus 2 root 5 which is equal to 4 minus root 5 whole upon 3 minus 2 root 5. Now this is the equation number 4. Now slope M4 of the line which is given by equation number 4 is equal to minus coefficient of x which is 4 plus root 5 over coefficient of y which is minus of 3 plus 2 root 5 which is further equal to 4 plus root 5 whole upon 3 plus 2 root 5 now using this result which is given in the key idea if theta be the angle between the lines which is given by equation number 1 and 3 then tan theta is equal to mod of m1 minus m3 whole upon 1 plus m1 into m3 now this is the value of m1 and this is the value of m3 so putting these values here, this will be equal to mod of 1 by 2 minus 4 minus root 5 whole upon 3 minus 2 root 5 whole upon 1 plus 1 by 2 into 4 minus root 5 whole upon 3 minus 2 root 5. On taking the LCM in the numerator and denominator, this will be equal to mod of 3 minus 2 root 5 minus 8 plus 2 root 5 whole upon 2 into 3 minus 2 root 5 the whole whole upon 6 minus 4 root 5 plus 4 minus root 5 whole upon 2 into 3 minus 2 root 5 the whole. Now this will be equal to mod of now these terms will be cancelled with each other so it will be minus 5 over and in the denominator it will be 10 minus 5 root 5. This will be equal to mod of minus 5 over in the denominator taking minus 5 common within brackets it will be root 5 minus 2. Now these terms will be cancelled with each other so it will be equal to 1 over a root 5 minus 2. Therefore, tan theta is equal to 1 by root 5 minus 2. Now rationalizing we get tan theta is equal to 1 over root 5 minus 2 into root 5 plus 2 over root 5 plus 2 which is equal to root 5 plus 2 over a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square so it would be 5 minus 4 which is equal to root 5 plus 2 by 1 which is equal to root 5 plus 2. Now 2 plus root 5 is greater than 1. Therefore, tan theta is greater than 1. Now we know that tan 45 degrees is equal to 1. 
which implies tan theta is greater than tan 45 degrees which further implies theta is greater than 45 degrees which implies on multiplying both sides by 2 2 theta is greater than 90 degrees now we have taken theta as the angle between the lines 1 and 3. And we are getting 2 theta is greater than 90 degrees. Therefore, the equation 3, that is, this equation is the bisector of the obtuse angle. Therefore, the equation Number 3, that is, 4 minus root 5, the whole, into x, minus 3 minus 2 root 5, the whole, into y, plus 2 minus 4 root 5, is equal to 0, is the bisector of the obtuse angle, between the given lines. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.